Hey everyone, it's February 2024. We just spent my friend, uh, our friend Nicola is visiting from London and we just had a great day going through Joshua Tree and had a lovely dinner at Pappy and Harriet's. And we got back and I thought, well, no, we have not done an unboxing video since Christmas. And since then, loads of things have showed up. So for you guys who have sent things, thank you for your patience. Appreciate that. But uh, so we're finally going to do our first unboxing of 2024. So um, um, yeah, I guess we can we can begin. You ready to go, Troy? Yep. I know that over the uh, last month or so, I have bought a couple of things on eBay, and I do believe one or two of these things are eBay things. And I know this large one comes from our friend Jeff at Larry Edmonds Bookstore, the last wonderful bookstore in the middle of Hollywood. This is actually something uh, Jeff did for me. So I'll, I'll show you that in a bit. That's something that I already already had. But we're gonna move on quickly to this, which I, I do believe this is an eBay uh, purchase. Since we, you know, people, some people seem to like the videos that, uh, that we do of taking like, uh, different, I think that, I just want to say, I don't want to say it before I see what it is. Yeah. So people like what we do is taking matchbooks back to the nightclubs and the supper clubs and the restaurants where they originally came from, old ones. And every once in a while, I'll see one on eBay that I'll purchase. And this one, not very particularly nice looking, but this is the Lido Hotel on Yucca in Hollywood. And I did a video, one of my true crime videos that had touched on this. The Lido Hotel is where they uh, took the interior photographs of the Hotel California album. And this is all that was also seen in the movie Black Yellow, which I love. And this was also where the actor Victor Killian was murdered in this. And Ed Wood used to drink in the uh, in the bar there. So this is this weird little building in Hollywood. It's not little, it's beautiful and it's old and it's an unusual matchbook. So next time I go back to Hollywood, I'll take that with me and show you the Lido once more. And this time it won't be about Victor Killian's murder. It'll be about that matchbook. Now this one, I don't know, again, I, I'm not sure if some of these are eBay purchases or not. Actually, this is an eBay purchase, okay. Dirt cheap, I found these. Uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken, Colonel Sanders Salt and Pepper Shakers. And you guys know my obsession with, with the Colonel. And these are, and I don't know why I had to have them. Well, you know I collect everything Kentucky Fried Chicken. And these are Colonel Sanders Rings. <laughs> so these are your, gor your gorgeous accoutrement from, these are, these actually came from Canada. I found these on, on eBay, and I don't know why I got them, but I like them, the Colonel Sanders jewelry. <laughs> I wonder if one will fit my, I'll just break it if I put it on my thumb, I think. <laughs> Let's see what happens. We'll try the rest of the video like that. <laughs> but that's eBay. This was the first matchbook, so I don't uh, I don't have to thank anybody for those. Now this comes from Michael Vasquez, and this is something I opened up. I saw it was something, and I closed it up right away. So I really don't know what it what it is, but I knew it wasn't something that I ordered. And um, and this is a there's a an address on that. Oh, it's a PO box. I think that's cool. I'm donating this for your collection, M Michael Vasquez, and it is. Look at that! It's it's King Charles's uh, insignia. It's very kind of you to send me such a wonderfully generous message following the death of my beloved mother. Your most thoughtful words are enormously comforting, and I cannot tell you how deeply they are appreciated at this time of immense sour sorrow. Charles. And there's uh, the queen with Prince Charles. King Charles now. This is very cool, Michael. Thank you very much. This is, yeah, this is definitely a really awesome keepsake. 
Thank you. Very, very much. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to get this one out of the way because it's so, uh, it's, it's, it's big. So Jeff Mantor owns Larry Edmonds Bookstore. Larry Edmonds Bookstore has been on Hollywood Boulevard for decades and decades. And it was, uh, they, they used like the, the, the old location for Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And Jeff's been a, a great friend. And we started our tour there at the bookstore for a long time too. And Jeff had an event at his shop and for a book release and i dropped off my record album because some of the one of the people was were involved in um you'll see you'll see in a second so jeff was kind enough to ship this our way and uh very very kind so this is the book and i'm really looking forward to reading this This book is all about the making of Rock and Roll High School, the Ramones and the ranking of Rock and Roll High School, which is one of my favorite movies. That's how I actually, I actually got turned on to the Ramones by seeing Rock and Roll High School for the first time and was lucky enough to have seen them in concert. And look at that, it's signed by Alan Arkish, who directed hey, pizza. Rock and Roll High School. And I like last year, um, Mary Warrenoff was here and I got to see a screening of Rock and Roll High School and the year before that, PG Souls was here in Palm Springs and I got to see a screening of Rock and Roll High School. I will sit through this movie a thousand times and have, and I love that. So Jeff got this signed for me because they had a book signing at Larry Edmonds. And then this is my own piece of memorabilia that Jeff was uh, kind enough to get me, to, uh, to get signed for me. Really, 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 Jeff, thank you very much for doing this. And everybody, go to the Larry Edmonds Bookstore, you know, website if you can and buy something. They always have really great book signings. Nancy Olson from Sunset Boulevard was there. Elisa Jordan, who wrote the Maryland book recently. And Jeff was kind enough to get this signed. Look at that. So I have on here Mary Warrenov. I got... Um, Boy, I can't even see these names, some of them. Clint Howard, who was Eagle Bauer. Nice set of pom -poms. My gosh, Day Young, who can't spell Gabba Gabba Hey Right. Body Search, who was one of the, the two um, of the uh, hall monitors. Where's Mary? Mary did sign. Yeah, there's Mary Warren of Riff, PJ Souls. The Freshman. Body Search. And Punk Rocker, Alan Arkish. Now, it was really nice of Jeff to get that sign for me. Wow. Thanks, Jeff. And you guys go to Larry Evans Bookstore. And um, that, is a, that is a wonderful piece of memorabilia. And I can't wait to read that book. So much gratitude. This is from Ken Palmer. I think it's Ken. I'm pretty sure it's Ken. Ken sent this many things. And Enjoy Happy 2024. Or enjoy these items. Hope you get the museum open again. Thank you. Chasing, La oh, Bowery Boys Chasing Las Vegas and Crashing Las Vegas. Bowery Boys. Okay, I'll have a look at this. I don't, I'm not familiar with very much of the Bowery Boys. So I will, we will definitely check these things out. And Matchbooks. And we hope we open our museum again too. Hawks, Steaks and Seafood, Longhorn Steaks, that's in Roswell Road, Peachtree Road. I, I know Peachtree in Atlanta. Uh, steak and Ale, thank you. And Elin, Elin, Atlanta, Dallas, Houston. Thank you very much. Thanks, Ken. Very kind of you. Thank you. Look forward to checking out these, uh, these videos. Thank you. Now, unfortunately, this one was sent to us, and the artwork was damaged by the mailbox who did this. So, no, I, and I don't quite know what this said. And I tried peeling it off, and I couldn't tell. So, I apologize. 
for that. But I can't tell. But I could tell you spent time on it. And uh, sorry, sorry. Miss America pageant. Knife needs a bit of sharpening, doesn't it? <clears throat> the official preliminary of Miss America pageant. I see you guys like Gilligan's Island like me, and here's one I've had a bit of sarcastic old letter from Lolita. Thanks for the extra items, Palm Springs, Mitzi. So Mitzi, the 1960 Miss Winter Park pageant, and then here's this. Oh, Don Wells, where is she? Look at Miss Nevada, there's Don Wells, Gilligan's Island. And we, I was just looking at all her things we have, of all her, uh, her hair and her glasses and her eyelashes and everything. Oh. Look at it, it's Marianne. I think we're having a visit with a ghost right now. Yeah. Our lights are flickering. Okay, looks okay now. We had a four point something earthquake last night, and that was fun to wake up to. And what would this be? Lita Great, oh, Lita Great Chaplin? Gould Avenue, Hollywood 40. I don't even know where 46 is. Is that West Hollywood? Leith, I don't know Gould Avenue. Interesting. Mr. Flack, I'm sorry to inform you, I have no idea where Sidney Chaplin Sr. can be reached. I've not seen my boy's uncle for many years, and I understand he spends much of his time in Europe. Thanks for your apparent interest in my in my background. Underline, oh my God. And I trust you received the envelope with my autographs and the reasons about yours most sincerely, Lita Gray Chaplin Longo. So this is Charlie Chaplin's ex-wife. A bit of an attitude, isn't it? Thanks for your apparent... Ooh. Thanks for your apparent interest in my background, and I trust you received this envelope. <laughs> we, okay uh, that's that's an electrical thing going on in here so so that's interesting thank you mitzi that's a very curious uh, little uh little artifact that'll go well in our don wells collection the gilligan collection where we have her gogo -go boots whether they are the gogo -go boots is yet to be established but they are gogo -go boots from uh from don wells they definitely came from her Okay, this one comes from Jennifer Robertson. And this is Jimmy Carter's Presidential Library and Museum. Oh, look, it's a, a funeral card for Rosalind Carter. Oh, no. Oh, she and I had the same birthday. Except for hers in 1927. She's a little older than me. And did you know, August 18th is my birthday, as is... Shelley Winters, Robert Redford, Roman Polanski, Vincent Bugliosi, and August 18th is the day Winifred Chapman died. Mrs. Chapman who found the bodies. Do what you can to show you care about others and you will make our world a better place. That is very kind of you to send this. Thank you, Jennifer. That's really cool. Oh, there's a, I think there's a little, oh, I think there's a, so this is the map to the Presidential Museum in, uh, in uh, is it in Plains, Georgia, probably? His hometown. Thank you. Thank you. No, no. Just a kind, a kind donation to our memorial booklet collection. Okay, so we've got, uh, oh, James Patterson sends us this. And let's see. Oh, this is hopefully easy to open. I hate doing this, but in this fashion. It is a photo. Oh, look, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> it's me. Is there a note in here? <laughs> oh, 
I don't know if there's a note in there. <laughs> At least there's nothing like burn marks on her or anything. Well, it's, it's a picture of me. Thank you, uh, James Patterson. Yeah, I don't, uh, I, there's nothing to, uh, to, uh, to say why you're sending this to me, but thank you. Oh, do you know what it is? Oh, do you know what? He wants me to sign that. <laughs> I'm like, oh, oh that's what I need. <laughs> a picture of me. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's okay. so funny. Okay, so you sent that for me to sign. No problem. <laughs> and actually, if you guys want to do that, you want to send something, if you want to send an empty envelope with a stamp on it to this address, I will send you a free death egg sticker. And, uh, and James, yeah, I'll get this out to you. I was like, oh, thank you. Picture of me. <laughs> that's so funny. So, oh, right, 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 okay, yeah, so, okay, well, we'll fix that, but, okay, so I'll get that out to you soon, I promise. And this is from, look at that, it's from our old buddy Lance. We haven't heard from Lance in ages, and Lance always sends us clever things. So, um, and this is one sharp, hell of a sharp uh, edge here, so I gotta be, uh... But Lance, yeah, I hope you're well. Hope you had a good Christmas. Hope you had a good New Year. And that, that Lance is an expert packer. And if you, um, and he has a really awesome eBay um, uh, store. Ooh. All right. Okay, I think we got it. So what have you got? Oh, look at this, okay. Uh, RMS, oh, look at the RMS convention, and the dates are August 13th to 17th, 1969 at the Stardust Hotel. He knows by, um, uh, he knows that, uh, oh, RMS is convention for matchbook collectors, and it's August of 1969. He knows our obsession with August of 1969. So, uh, oh, interesting. So that is a matchbook, matchbook club, Long Beach Matchbook Club. I didn't know RMS was a matchbook thing. Stardust Hotel. Lance, you're so thoughtful. And there's more matchbooks here. What's this? Oh, it's Charles and Diana. Marriage of HRH, the Prince of Wales, and Lady Diana Spencer. 29th July, 1984. Wow. Matt, they had matchbooks, American matchbooks of the Royal Wedding. There were three of us in this marriage. That's really something. Prince Charles, King Charles is becoming a theme today. The Beverly Wilshire, the Reg Bev. No, it's the Beverly Wilshire, not the Regent Beverly Wilshire. Or is it? Is the Regent Beverly Wilshire the same? It has to be. Yeah, these are well, before it became Regent, I think. Neat, thank you. The Reg Bev Will, which wasn't always the Regent. Cool. Thank you, Lance. And what's this? Never heard of it. Must have bombed. Lunch Hour. Gilda Radner, Sam Watterson. Sam Watterson was in a play with uh, Gilda, huh? Well, definitely. That's <laughs> interesting. I wonder if that exists anywhere. To David, the all male, the wrecking crew, the El Paso wrecking crew. Sadly, I remember that movie. A journey beyond pornography dedicated to those who think they've seen it all. Lunch hour. <laughs> I bet you Gilda was really happy that that was. <laughs> that's really funny, actually. Uh, thank you, Lance. Now, this is from Jennifer Robertson, who has sent us things before. And seems like the lights went dim again, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, you guys are really nice for, for sending this stuff. Thank you. Wow, lots of things in here. Okay. Jennifer. Modern Screen with Rock Hudson. Rock Hudson's Secret Honeymoon. 
I have one of his, uh, a check, one of his alimony checks to his wife. Debbie and Eddie's, isn't that funny? Debbie and Eddie are coming up so much now. We're talking about our friends, uh, Kat and Todd Fisher in Vegas, who we stay with when we are in uh, Vegas, who are so kind. And I love this. A rose tattoo. Disc jockey derby. Ooh, look. Model house for a busy, busy wife. Gregory Peck. We're talking about that. He came up in Mike Steen's video, the funeral director. Here's Debbie. And look at that, Frank Sinatra, who is bigger than Jesus Christ out here. Phyllis, Phyllis Gates, that's, yeah, I had, that's Phyllis, that's his wife, who is ex-wife, and I have one of the, uh, who is a lesbian, uh, they say, I can't say that for a fact, but, uh, but yeah, I have one of the, the palimony checks canceled, and look at that, Halo shampoo, get some body with Halo, Halo's got body to give. Fun. Mary's dismal periodic. <laughs> Mary's bright with my doll. Oh, these are great. What's this? Broke that mountain. Gay. Gay. This is a fun movie. Not fun. This is a very this is a good movie. Uh, map of oh, a Los Angeles map from Beacon Storage, which are really distinctive storage units around LA. I wonder if this is like a Hollywood map or if it's just LA to the peak. Oh, I see Jimmy. Jimmy. Oh, it's a good map. Beacon Store. Yeah, these, these are really uh, sort of, I hate the word iconic. It's so overused, but Beacon's buildings were amazing storage buildings. It's a big LA map. Be careful. Beacons, vans, and wow, this is. Imagine, imagine when we had to use these before, you know, GPS. My God. God, it was Thomas guides having to drive around with flipping pages and got GPSs. Man. That's cool. Thank you. And Rock Hudson and James Dean. It's a poster. There's Jimmy. Man. I'm really going to be bad because I can't process. Is that Catherine Ross? That is Catherine Ross, I think. No. No? Why don't I know this? And it's written in, like, Korean. So I don't know. And I should, but I don't. And I'm going to probably get this. You idiot! Don't you know? Yeah. But I know that the reason I got it was because of Jimmy. He's right here. So we love that. Thank you. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. And what's this? I see. What is it? What body part is that? What's, Chest? What say you? Booby. Booby? No. A guy chest. Is it a neck? No, it's like, yeah, maybe a neck. Oh, it's Stephen Queen. Once upon a time. Oh my God, look at him. <laughs> wow. That is not a nice picture of him. <coughs> but it's a cool poster. Yeah. But that is not a flattering picture. Hubba hubba. May 1974. Screen Reader's Choice 1974. The best stars. Male star number two. Oh, there we go. There's Jimmy and Marfa. Marfa, Texas, 1955. Wow. Yeah, I wish we could have gotten up to that. That's sort of the ruins of that are still there, but we couldn't get anywhere near it. I'd have loved that. Screen, this is number, male star number 13. 
1974. He had already been dead for 19 years. Cool. I'm like, oh my god, that's not nice. But um, so I'm glad that he wasn't the focal point of that. All right. These are uh, a pretty cool treat. So thank you, Jennifer. Thank you very much. Pretty cool. Yay. <laughs> thank you. We've got another from Lance. Maybe I'll save that one. I'll do this one next. And this is from Cheryl Ford. So thank you, Cheryl, for sending these. This came in uh, a couple weeks ago. Let's see. delicate. It's old and delicate. Oh, it's Mishu. Look. It's the mighty Mishu. It's the little man who's in our closet. And it literally is the little man who's in our closet right now. The smallest man in the world from Ringling Brothers Barnum and Bailey Circus. We had a fundraiser. We raised the money. I've been trying to correspond with the cemetery. They have not returned my calls or my emails in the past couple of weeks. But his grave has been paid for, his uh, his niche, and we have it all picked out. We just need to inscribe it and have a little ceremony for him, which I had hoped to do in February, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen because I have to get on that cemetery, and I get so distracted with everything we're doing that um, I don't follow up on it, but that's something I need to do. And this is very cool, so thank you for, uh, thank you for sending that. We very much appreciate it. Very cool. Thanks, Cheryl. And we'll top this off with number two package from Mr. Lance. Hey, that's cool. That White Castles thing. I'm looking for a new rubber stamp. I have the Colonel. I have James Dean. And I need a new rubber stamp. And I was thinking about getting one with my own face on it for, you know, but then I thought, well, that's quite arrogant or egotistical. But... It's like branding or something. I don't know. But I need a new rubber stamp. I'm trying to think of what I should get. I have a Sunset Boulevard one. I have a Divine one. So I don't know. If I sent you one of these, please re-gift it. Maybe I sent the color Xerox. Lance, peace. W-A-B-C, Music Power Survey. I have to there's stuff on here. I'm gonna have to flip this and open it. I don't think I've seen this before, Lance. Just to mix my hands every time. Robert Hall. God, I got a, I got a suit from Robert Hall once. Fall smashing wool skirts and sweaters. I didn't think they did women's colors too. So this is the WABC Radio Music Survey, the All-American of the Week, Charlie Greer. August 9th, 1969, look at that. So I know that number one was in the year 2025, Crystal Blue Sword. I'm thinking in Billboard. Like, number five was a Sugar Sugar, I think. Um, yeah, see, I some of these songs weren't on the Billboard charts. I didn't know where these come from. But I know Crystal Blue Persuasion was. In the year 25, 25 was number one that week. My Sharia Moore, yes. Spinning Wheel, yes. What Does It Take to Win Your Love by Junior Walker? And the answer is Baby, I Love You. I don't remember that one. One, two, or one, three... Oh, what is that? One three. One is the loneliest number. Honky Duck Woman. That was that was in Sweet Caroline. Romeo and Juliet. Love me tonight. Good morning, star shine color. Yeah. So some of these from Billboard aren't on here. Then, but Quentin's that Quentin's theme from Dark Shadows was like number seventeen. Sugar Sugar is not even on this, and I think it was number five on Billboard that year. 
uh, that week. Wow, these are cool. Thank you, Lance. No, we never got this before. So thank you. And thank you, everybody, for sending all these cool things. We love them. We appreciate them. We are, uh, yeah, it's a hoot. Uh, so you'll, you'll be hearing an announcement about Mr. Mishu's uh, in earnment soon. And, um, yeah, so you'll thank you for sending all this stuff. Again, if you wanted to do that, this is where you send away for a free Death Hex sticker. 1717 East Vista Chino, A7-619, Palm Springs, 92262. Send an envelope with a stamp on it. I'll send you a free Death Egg sticker. So this is our address. So thank you, everybody, seriously, for sending all this cool stuff. We really enjoy it. And we say not so fast because I was about to, uh, to release this video, and I went to my mailbox today, and this is here. And it's a package from my friend Patrick, my, uh, my buddy Patrick, my paranormal... James Dean friend and uh, don't know what this is but I'm going to open it with this new weapon and this is a steak knife from the estate of Seymour Heller who was Liberace's agent and we got a ton of stuff from Liberace's agent's uh, estate sale and uh, it's the first time we're using a Heller instrument for this so Patrick has sent some pretty pretty fun things in the past and uh, even one of the best one of the best jokes he was participated in with my friend from um, uh, from Chicago let's just say if only Donald hadn't turned left and we know that it's a reference to Donald Turnipseed who uh, who accidentally killed James Dean this is interesting 1955 Shell gas station map Oh, look at that. How cool is that? So this is a 1955 huh. map of uh, Southern California, the Southwest. Look at this. We're not finished yet. Look at that. This is a, this is really wild that somebody is making these things. But this is a little uh, Porsche uh, Spider, that uh, a miniature of James Dean's accident after the accident, which is even more interesting. Wow, that's wild. So this will this is pretty 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 amazing. Jimmy, the Porsche Spider, and uh, the story of the accident, and James Dean went down in history, courtesy of Donald Turnipseed. So the map has changed considerably since then, and I, I don't know. I'm not from California. This Highway 99, Troy is saying, still exists here. The 101 is barely a road over this way that plowed through that neighborhood of Whitley Heights, but the 101 continues through. But anyway, so the 5 looks like turned into the 99. There's Bakersfield, and Jimmy went through the area of Bakersfield, and Blackwell's Corner, that's where, that's the place where the last place where Jimmy um, touched ground on the 5466. And that is the point of impact. Shalam right there. That's where Jimmy was killed. Huh. Wild. How very interesting, Patrick. Thank you. This has like actually been an experience. Seeing this, I well, definitely, because that's where Jimmy was on his way to, to Salinas. Didn't make it. When Jimmy was killed, he was taken to Paso Robles. Which is interesting, because so if you didn't know that, Jimmy was killed right there. And as the ambulance was taking him to Paso Robles, the ambulance got into an accident between the two places. So... Anyway, thank you, Patrick. We appreciate that. And uh, and thank you, everyone, for watching. You heard me.